that, it's Pat's Boutique. Yeah. But the reason why I know it is because on Laverne and Shirley, when they go to this um, like kind of getaway motel, there's like a, a heart-shaped bed, and whenever Laverne sits on it, <laughs> it goes... <laughs> Episode, anybody else 70. Anywho, <laughs> my whole point is I studied classical music and I'm here with Morgan James who also studied classical music. Now I went to Oberlin Conservatory, which is one of the top conservatories, but considered probably the best is Juilliard. The so Morgan, Juilliard School. The Juilliard School. <laughs> so you actually got in, which is crazy, and you were young yeah. when you got in, right? You weren't like, because usually they wait you like 25. Yeah, I went right after high school. That's really Didn't rare. Know anything. Did you want to be an opera singer? What the hell were you thinking? I don't know. I, I did kind of at the time until I realized I had no gift for language and I was really terrible. That's um, the only reason why you want to be an opera singer? What about the boring part? What? No, I, want, I had no gift for language. That's why I didn't do opera. But I'm saying that's not the only reason not to do opera. It's also boring, dear. It's also, mm, snooze. The recit, the recitative, so boring. Yeah, not the recitative. I gotta be honest, kind of the beginning to the end. Anyway, okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, a lot of, I always get angry letters like, why don't you support opera? I, can't, I like fans for the opera. Anyway, um, so Morgs. Yes. Were you one of those a la Judy Kuhn? Did you grow up and Alice Ripley only thinking you were like a head voicey soprano? Yeah. So you never like did some big belty part in high school? I mean, I did. I would do the awkward, you know, um, head voice break at the top, you know, like, do you know, so do you know something, Schroeder? I think the way you play the piano. Like an okay. awkward 14-year-old. Yes. Yeah, I did yes. those, and I thought I was really method. Um, okay, so you were terrible. <clears throat> so the point is, I'm going to first do a little bit of classical music and show how Morgan has taken, which is very rare, she, she's a legit soprano, and she turned her sopranoness into becoming a beltress in Godspell. So first we're just going to show, and also how the coloratura fluidity can easily segue into the Mariah Carey sassafrasness. <laughs> so why don't we, this is from the Messiah. We're going to take it from, um, uh, what do you think? I think from, middle of that page. <clears throat> Rejoice! Rejoice! Shout! 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 Rejoice! Greatly! Okay, so the notes again. Let's hear it again, legit style. To this is a what is this called? The coloratura run? Is it, is it even a coloratura run? Well, it's just a run. It is a run. This would be like for a, a light lyric soprano. This isn't like a dramatic. There are two types of coloraturas: light or you know lyric coloratura and dramatic. So this is just a, a lyric, melismatic run, legato run. Just an old melismatic run. <laughs> Ready? Two, three, rejoice. Rejoice greatly. Okay, so I was never able to do that as a kid. So how do you, how do you get every single note out? Like, what are you thinking about? Well, you have to, melismatic singing, you have to practice, for instance, when you learn to trill. You have to, uh, I had a teacher at Juilliard, Ken Merrill, who um, specialized in Baroque music, and he would teach us to trill, so we go, ah, and you just keep practicing until you maintain um, evenness across, it's very difficult, and I haven't sung color tour in a long time, but um, you have to, to maintain the support all the way across, so you go, you practice that on and on and on. But see, how you do, do you do runs really slowly at first? But how come everybody <clears throat> my age is like we ho 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 ho? Like we all have to add horrible H's. So like you know, Liza was like too much shame. Air. Like <laughs> what? How do you not add the H to your? Um. Well, you just I, I've sung. I used to sing this piece quite a lot. I haven't sung it in years, but you do. You just support through it. Um. That's adding too much air. So you don't want to pump too much air, but you need enough air to get through the the, the run. So the H doesn't help you. It's too, it's blowing too much air over your chords. Yes, yes, I felt that for so years. Don't so the question, do it. don't know how to sing. So my question <laughs> is, okay, so how would you take this coloratura slash melismatic run and Mariah Carifies it? Like, what's the if difference? If I was gonna use the same notes, yeah, I would um, I would kind of use my elasticity of my support, and I would still support, but I would take it out of my head voice, and I would I would add like a percentage of more chest. I kind of sing in percentages, really. You can literally, so you don't go, this is all chest. You literally just No, add. no, I'll do like, oh, 60, 40 or 70, 30. People make fun of me for it. Okay, so right. here's a little algebra class. So, so this is Mariah, Mariah five. Wait, can we take it a little bit before that so I can get sure. into it? I want to do it and shout. Okay. So I go. And shout, 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 shout. So Mariah. Time. Something like that. I'm obsessed. Here we go. And shout, 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 rejoice greatly. See, I think 
that was like 4367. And yeah. Issue. Yeah, I hear you. I about. hear you. Okay, um, so Morgala, so for all you, all you voice people, people always write to me like, how do you build? I'm like, I don't know anything about technique. Don't ask me. I literally know nothing. But um, Megan is um, doing. I'm Morgan. Wait, I but I, I don't know who Megan, Megan is, but it's fine. Have I called you Megan the whole time, though? Mm-mm. Okay. Morgan right now is starring in Goldspell. And um, she's making, made the bold choice to take and turn Michael Mann up a step and a half. And up the octave. All right. <laughs> Little me. So we thought we'd do her version of Turnback Old Man, but tip of the hat to Juilliard and their training. We're going to add a couple of color chora riffs throughout to show you both sides. Oh God, so enjoy. Over. Good luck. Oh God. <laughs> Bravo! Still got it. Got it. Head hurts.